echoes and stuff, but it is go time. I'm not showing up live on here, but once it does, it gets real loud real quick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I'm not showing up. I hear you. Why aren't I coming on mine? Mine's live. Pretty sure mine's live. Everybody uh, comment me live. Yep, yep, I'm good. Game time, LTV Live. The 20th every month, guys, we're doing an unboxing. And no, this is not an elf on the shelf that we've got going on here. This is Tyler Anderson. Tyler's Real Fishing. What's up, Team Money? What up, people? Guys, Tyler Anderson, um, I would say I would give you uh, – you got to be the number one underwater bed fisherman filming. His videos are unbelievable, guys. This is what he uh, made a name for himself with is the underwater footage. We're going to get to it a little bit later because I'm going to bring up your channel in a little bit um, because I do want you to explain a little bit more yourself. But for that, for you guys don't recognize him, um, that is – I guess we'll call you up on the shelf. Though. I can give that to you. That's T Money Tyler Anderson, guys, and he's going to be uh, filling in tonight and uh, having some fun. So, oh yeah, everyone is sitting there right now, wondering what LTV Live is all about. And uh, guys, this is where we do our live unboxing. So we're going to go through a Bass XL box because all you guys just got your boxes, or we'll be getting them shortly. And uh, we want to uh, have some interaction, explain a little bit about what this is all about, uh, help you understand the products. And then we have guests on the show. So, so not only are you going to get to hang out with Tyler and I, but then we're going to have, we always try to grab guys that are current in the industry. Um, the world record spotted bass was just broken, and it was by, uh, by an angler out in California, and he's going to be on the show. And uh, the craziest thing, literally, the, I couldn't believe this when I saw it. The stars align sometimes. One of the products in your box is what he used to break the world record spotted bass. So he's going to talk about that a little bit later. And what everybody loves is giveaways. And that's something that we always have going on with LTV Live is plenty of giveaways. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So a lot of people right now are sitting with their golden ticket. T-Money, you got your golden ticket or what? I got my golden ticket. You got your golden ticket? Nice. Let's move over. All right, guys, everyone's holding the golden ticket right now. So what the golden ticket is, is it's an opportunity uh, to engage with you guys. There's great stuff to win. And um, tonight, the grand prize, I'm not going to reveal it yet. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, actually, you know what? Should I just – I'm going to give away a canoe. The grand prize uh, number is going to win a canoe. So. Wow. Not only does Lucky Tackle Box, uh, or sorry, not a canoe, a kayak. I'm even okay, saying okay. wrong. Dude. I always kayak canoe, but no, no, kayak, a lot more stable. Not gonna, you're not gonna sink and stuff. The Lucky Grand Prize is going to get a kayak, and uh, so along with your box, all the gear. Now you have a way to get out to that spot. You know that spot that's a little further than you can cast, and you're always a little bummed out not being able to get to that. So everyone sitting at home, we love that you guys watch and follow along with your golden tickets and stuff. So I want to show. Some guys watching from last month. All right, love when you guys send in. That guy right there, AJ Gore, one of uh, one of the great partners that we have with the Tackle Box. He's actually going to be making an appearance on the show with the wheel of uh, fun. And that's, you guys, there's nobody having more fun tonight than this guy. And you guys are going to see why because uh, he's having a party at his house. Um, another guy, Josh, he is uh, watching live. This is from, uh, actually, I think earlier today. So he's ready to see who wins tonight. Um, but before we now do our quick unboxing, to money yes. tell us a little bit about you. Um, introduce yourself, and uh, so some of these people that uh, that somehow haven't heard of you before now can track you down and uh, and and watch some of your new videos. Exactly. I'm gonna take off the hat so I don't look like a pure elf. Uh, but my name is Tyler Anderson. My YouTube channel is Tyler's Real Fishing. Uh, I've been making videos for two and a half years now, and I'm. A Fifty-six and a half thousand subscribers. So, um, I go to Texas A&M University, Giga Maggie's, and uh, I just love fishing. I love teaching. Uh, Travis and I have the same mindset. We both love to teach the sport. We also love to have fun with it too. But teaching is our is our main thing. Um, and I I'm known from my underwater footage, which we may go into. Uh, I've kind of pioneered putting a camera underwater and getting a fish to bite in front of it. So that's kind of what I became known for. I fished the college tournament series. I fished all the high school ones as well. And uh, that's about me. Nice. Too oh, many. Yeah, yeah, echo, they say. Yeah, we're getting an echo. Do you have some headphones to put in? Yeah, I'll get some. 
All right, guys, we're going to fix that echo because we do not need to have an echo the whole time. Anyway, some headphones somewhere. I'm sorry, everybody. We're trying to find headphones. I don't have any that seem to do anything right now. I'll be right back. All right, Tyler, put you on uh, mute real quick, too. Is that Team Money's mom? Do Team what? Mom? Put, it on, put yours on mute, and I'll keep talking until you find some headphones. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, with this live stuff, we always have, te we always have technical difficulties in some uh, fashion. Um, we literally put the show together, and it takes, uh, it takes quite a lot of effort putting uh, the different guests together, and I... Literally just got off the phone with Cody Meyer uh, minutes before we started the show. He was having some uh, technical difficulties actually logging on and everything. So we are going to keep continuing along. But so uh, to wrap up Tyler's, then you guys check out Tyler's Real Fishing on YouTube. He does a great job. He's always trying to be innovative, but he's always teaching too. And uh, I really, um, I really enjoy surrounding myself with people that uh, have a love for fishing. Obviously that's what everyone on here right now is that passion for fishing, but also has that, um, has a love to uh, teach others to show, you know, if they've had any kind of success to help other people have that same feeling and enjoy that, that passion, that level they've gotten to. And then also that, that has fun. I, I like to surround myself with people that are goofy, not afraid to laugh at themselves. If you guys watch any of the videos that we post, I'm always trying to be, uh, you know, if I get a laugh out of people by them laughing at me, it's all good. I, I will be that guy to uh, to make the videos more interesting and and, um, and uh, have people enjoy their experience a little bit more. And so Tyler does a good job of that. If any of you guys have watched Nick, the informative fisherman, he's been a great partner with Lucky Tackle Box. And then also uh, we've got a new uh, a new YouTube channel coming on with us, Tactical Bassin. Um, you guys are really going to like them, and uh, I'm going to be talking to them a little bit later in the show. So let's keep moving down the line. Um, the bass box. Um, all right, so everyone's got to be holding their box right now in their hands, and uh, you guys, um, we're going to follow along. And uh, so I actually don't have the products in my hands right now because we just filmed the videos. I just got back from uh, my motorhome at Clear Lake, and if any of you guys have watched uh, videos online, you will know that that is the biggest, crustiest piece of crap, and I love it. And uh, that's where I go film all my videos from is the motorhome. And uh, so I left all my gear up there. Um, and uh, so I don't have the products here, but we got some great videos coming up. We just released one, and for the rest of the week, we're going to release the rest of the product videos. All right, does this mic work? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Oh, good deal. Everybody comment if this works. I finally found some Apple headphones. Uh, I'm looking at some comments. See, we're getting great comments. Uh, Tactical Bassin, people love Tactical Bassin. I've got some people trying to influence the numbers who win tonight. I've been seeing those everywhere now. It's all of a sudden, anytime I see on Instagram and stuff, there's call number 3004. And I'm like, all right. And uh, by coincidence, it better not end up calling one of those numbers that people will say it on there, or we're going to just uh, we're gonna have a mutiny on our hands. So let's get in. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, guys, the prizes. Uh, most people know if they tune in, they know when we do the prizes. The prizes we announce um, every 15 minutes we do a giveaway. So that means uh, I'm on Pacific Standard Time. I'm out here out west. So at 6.15, we'll do our first giveaway, 6.30, 6.45, and then 7 o'clock, we do the final giveaway, which is going to be a kayak or, uh, if you want to call it the wrong thing like I did, a canoe. And uh, But anyway, so that's when we're going to be doing our giveaways so you guys can follow along. Uh, we try to be a nice, clear path. we got some great guests. You're going to learn about fishing. We're going to be doing some goofy stuff, and we're going to be doing some giveaways so you have everything that you need to have, really keep yourself engaged, especially in wintertime. People are cold right now. They need some entertainment, and uh, we got it for you. So let's go real quick. I'm going to talk about the products in the box real fast. This is the products, and uh, right now we're going to go through it real quick, and then we're going to go back through it a little bit later. Um, the thing is that uh, that you know, we're going to go through these things individually later. So if you guys have questions and stuff, that's when you can ask them a little bit later. But we've got the, uh, the Strike King Ocho. A uh, great little bait. Strike King is going to be a huge partner of us. So that's a little heads up, guys. You're going to be seeing a lot of Strike King uh, products in uh, through 2017. Um, the V&M Hightail Shad Swim Bait. Um, looks like it has an upside down tail. Guys, I, I, the first thing I asked when I saw this thing uh, when they first released it to us, 
was, did you guys screw up with Ash of swim baits? And there is good reason they have an upside down tail and you guys are really gonna like to hear why they did this. A yeah, brand new company to us, Monster Bass USA, uh, the Slim Jim 110, great little jerk bait. We just released a video on how to fish this thing in the winter time for those cold weather bass. Um, but uh, once again, we'll go into more detail about that later. Riot Baits, the Relic, killer, killer little product. Riot Baits, first time in the box, and uh, I don't think it's going to be the last. Really great product. I think we have a good partnership with them, and uh, I think you guys are really going to like their products. They have a, a cool style, a cool vibe about them, and great products. Uh, then the Mustad Worm Hook, great little, that's like, when I think of a Mustad Weedless, when I think of a Weedless Worm Hook, this is what comes out. This is like old school, gets the job done. We'll talk a little bit more detail about that later. Then, for all you boys and girls who got the XL box, oh, Jenko Fishing CD20, the deep dive and crankbait. I really like this company. This is the new one. Tyler, you're not. I know you like this company as well. Um, there's companies that come in and have that young vibe, you know, that, 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 that have that image. These guys definitely have that going on for them. And then the uh, Spool Tech 4-inch Fatty. This is a really cool bait, too. I can't wait. Um, to describe why because i know a lot of the guys are got i know a lot of people got this they realize that hook comes out and they're gonna go why do i need a hook that comes out of the swim bait it pulls out there's good reason for it you guys are gonna like that too it's um so we'll get to that in a little bit but always we give you a little sneak peek you guys are wondering if to renew your membership you guys want to know what's going on next month am i going to get something cool what's going to be and we always give a sneak peek on Lucky tag box of what's coming next month and what I mentioned, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with Strike King. Well, if you guys are familiar with the Rage Crawl, this is from the Rage series of Strike King, Strike King Rage Crawl. You guys, if you've seen any of my uh, live feeds lately, if you've seen um, I, I, a lot of the videos where I'm doing different jigs and stuff, this is what I'm using as a trailer most of the time. Um, let me bring that up real fast because I got to talk something about it. Okay, so there's when you guys see, so you look at the look at the the pinchers on that thing, okay? They actually have kind of a little bit of a, a lip on them. Now, there are three different types of trailers. There's the flapping trailers that are just flat, flapping, right? Then there is the little um, curly tails, like grub tail type things. So you got the Yamamoto twin tails. Then there is these kicking type baits. Zoom makes them, um, uh, Gambler Lures, uh, and then Striking has really mastered that kick. And that is one of the uh, most versatile trailers that I use because there's times when, you know, the flapping thing excels. There's time when the, the grub tails uh, um, excel. But when these, when you have this kicking action on these baits, it is such a versatile bait that you can catch fish year round. I cannot wait to do the video on it next month because I am going to absolutely smash the fish. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. And I'm going to get you guys will be pumped up. Once I show you, if you don't, if you don't have much confidence in it or you want to see how it's rigged, I will show you a bunch of ways to rig this thing. And you are going to be stoked once you oh, get yeah. this in your hands. t are you familiar with the, the Rage Cross? Dude, Rage Cross are the best. I can punch them, throw them on a, on a uh, wobble head. You can put them on a football jig. Dude, they're the best. Nice, nice. So, guys, heads up. That's your sneak peek at January's box. 2017 mm -hmm. is going to have some fun stuff. A lot of new products that aren't even out in the market yet. All right, guys. i got to throw you guys a bone here. Tackle Warehouse, it's Christmas. You're doing all your Christmas shopping. You guys, Tackle Warehouse has been a great partner of ours. Um, and if you go on, when you uh, if you go on, you order anything on Tackle Warehouse, whether it's one lure or, uh, you know, a big box, if you put in the promo code LTB saves q one you're going to save $5. $5 will come off. So any of these lures you see tonight, you go, I'm going to go buy one right now in Taco Warehouse. Put in the promo code, boom, $5 off. So that is our little gift to you. Taco Warehouse enjoys us shoveling over, uh, you know, promoting them, and they make sure to take care of the people that come over from us. So appreciate your guys' business. Tyler, what time is it, man? Dude, it's, uh, well, my time is 819, but it's 619 your time. 619. So we are a little over right now. But it's that time. It's giveaway time. Let's give away some boxes right now. All right. So we're going to go down to giveaway one. Where are we at here? Let me get my. Okay, so there's going to be two ways we do this. We're going to... So we always want to give winners to the golden ticket, but we also want to give people that aren't members of the box a chance to win as well. So we, uh, we got tons of stuff to give away. It's just the season to be giving. And so first, we're going to ask uh, a question. 
And Tyler, we're looking for, we're gonna look for the first two right answers. Okay. And then we're gonna pick one random answer, uh, right answer as well. Because some people just have a faster interconnection, right? Internet connection. So they're able to answer quicker. So then we're gonna pick, after a bunch have come through, we'll pick just one random, so they win. And then while we're waiting for that right answer, I'm gonna announce the golden ticket winners. Sweet. So Tim Monty, why don't you ask everyone the question? All right, people. So, should we say that though the prize is for this month, for this giveaway? Oh yeah, I guess that's important, huh? They're gonna get yeah. out, <laughs> Um Yes, yeah, so you guys. It's gonna be a. Uh, everyone's going to get a lucky tap box. So you're gonna get an extra box. You get the right answer. You get called out right now. You get another lucky tackle box. Oh yeah. Am I, am I writing down the uh, the winners? No, we got the office ready to do it. Sweet. All right. Sounds good. Everybody, this is the world record edition. What is the current world record largemouth bass, and where was it caught? So be lake specific. Pounds, ounces, and what lake was the world record bass caught? The most recent one, not the one from 80 years ago, the most recent one. I like that. I like these because there is a little bit of a uh, – depending on where you look for your information. So I like that clarification. Exactly. All right. Now we'll wait for those answers. Actually, you know what? People are typing. Let me give them a second here. Um, are we seeing some answers? And uh, also, to your money, keep an eye on the comment sections. And, uh, you know, throughout the show, feel free to bring up some good comments, you see, all right? Um, I like the interaction. I love that we get – we literally – I think we had 10,000 or something like that uh, comments last time. Wow. So I love the engagement. I love the interaction. So when you see some good ones, interrupt the show, talk about it. Give that person a shout out too. I love, uh, I love saying who it was too. That's always a, a nice way of bringing them in. Yeah. All right. So I'm sure we've had some right answers now and uh, people have thrown up the answer, but let's, let's uh, call out three golden ticket winners. So everyone, you got your golden ticket out right now. Let's name three numbers here. We got 10,568, 10568. We've got um, 06690. So 6,690, and the third winner is going to be 18,901, 18901. And uh, if, and once we're gonna give it a second to uh, let them actually put up their, uh, the office to put up the right winners, so that way we can uh, announce winners. Why don't you tell us the, what the error answer was, Tyler? So the correct answer as the question that I asked, what was the most recent world record? It was 22 pounds, four ounces caught in Lake Biwa, Japan. Now, a lot of you guys said Japan. A lot said 22-4 out of Lake Montgomery in Georgia. That actually is the old record. They technically tied, but the one in Japan was slightly bigger, but the IGFA says that if it's not two ounces bigger, it ties it. So technically it was 22-4 in Japan. Nice, 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 nice. Um, and it's nice to see one caught recently because there is a lot of like, that happened so long ago, there's so many people that are like, ah, there's no actual proof. It was, it was really not a, uh, that official of a record. Exactly. And so it was nice to actually see one um, caught recently that, that now like literally these fish do exist that are that big. Uh, you know, that, that there's still obviously more world records out there. So it keeps us uh, dreaming at night. Hey, someone asked, what do we do if our number is called? Well, so I was going to, okay, so now we have the three winners. Um, so I'm going to announce some winners, and I'll tell you guys all what to do immediately. Um, so the three right answers, so the three winners of the uh, right question was Adam Ward, uh, Gerardo Arias, and T. Stivers 0930. Okay, so if you're one of those guys or one of the three right answers or three numbers I called, you've got to email Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com, and you've got to put your uh, address, all your contact info. You golden ticket winners also have to send a picture of your golden ticket so we know that you're actually the winner. Um, so don't think you're going to just say you won something and, uh, and come jumping in. So, okay. all right. So anyway, guys, if you guys are having a good time right now, hit the thumbs up. I'm getting a little warmed up. The show's going to go a little over an hour. We've got another guest come on here in a second. But, guys, hit that thumbs up right now below. Let's see what you like. Let's see if you're enjoying this. Right now, we're, we're at 344 thumbs up. That's actually we're, that's a lot of thumbs up right now. we got over 1,000 people watching, so we've got a big audience going on here. And uh, 
I'm starting to get the flow. Tyler, are you starting to get the juices going? Oh, definitely, no doubt. All right, all right. And so, uh, so guys, here's uh, here's something I really enjoy about uh, being part of Lucky Tackle Box is uh, it's just the uh, LTP family. You know that that the camaraderie of being part of something that's uh, you really get to see how much how many people are involved. We've got thousands and thousands of subscribers, and I love looking through Instagram hashtags. So, you guys. If you've got some hashtag, if you've got some cool pictures and you're putting stuff up on Instagram, hashtag us because I'm always going through those and uh, and looking at the uh, LTV fam. So I've got some pictures, uh, some different uh, things that I liked. I went through the Instagram and I kind of just grabbed some uh, some of my favorites. And uh, dude, this is a classic hat. I gotta figure out where he got this hat. That's my favorite hat of all time. That's the like the Dumb and Dumber uh, the hat, dude. I love that. That's the, pretty the good. Um, what else we got? Dude? Look at this kid. This is me as a kid when I got tackled. Now this, this is Polly. This is one of our actual YouTubers. Dude, stay away from my lucky tackle box, bro. I know. <laughs> Looks like Rambo right there. Uh, and it actually, he does do his unboxings with a machete. So that's fantastic. Oh, this picture didn't show up as large as it should, dude. I'm really sorry that I cut your head off, man. But this was a cool picture. This guy is sitting out in the snow, all his boxes. <laughs> Loved it. In his shorts. It's a mentality, man. It's it's a, you know, it, snow to, snow stops some people and other people, man. They're always warm at heart. And always got to have a family pick. They love seeing the unboxings with the family. Uh, fishing, what I really love about fishing is how much is expanded into um Younger demographics, uh, family. I mean, it's really just expanded, and uh, it's always it's always fun seeing that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So we have a guest coming on. I think we're running a little bit behind, but let's go through some of these products. Let's first go through Monster Bass USA's brand new Slim Jim 110. This is a new company out in the market. You guys are going to see this. You're going to see this product. Uh, you're going to see this company all over the place. And so we're happy we got them in the box right off. Tyler's holding that up. Oh, oh, T Money, T Money, he can't resist. That's how good that bait is. He can't good. resist the urge. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so yes, guys, this is a really cool product. We just released the video for that. Um, right now, you can't actually see it, but this bait comes with red hooks. That's one of the features I really like about it over other jerk baits. Red hooks are no mystery. It's been around for a, a long time. People know about red hooks, but this one comes with them on. And when bass, bass are predators, they see opportunities, and red represents. Uh, something wounded and so when fish are making split second reactions if they're coming at something they're going to decide whether they're going to hit it not hit it or just you know give it a little tap um that red a lot of people believe uh is an advantage it gives that fish that that just kind of that gut reaction to really choke down that bait and so really cool thing they bring on there um when fishing this thing in the winter time i love putting some weights you can either buy those little sticky uh the stickers that are lead stickers and weight the bait which will make it sink and I, I show you how to do that in the video we released. Um, or you can actually put little split shots on the hooks, right on the base of the hooks, and that'll make that uh, that jerk bait sink down. Um, what's happening when water temps dip below 50, so when they're in the 40s and stuff, shad begin to die. And these big old bass, they love sitting down there and waiting for that food to come to them like a buffet. And uh, they're just sitting there going, Ma, where's the meatloaf? And that's that's how you can get these big fish you can get that jerk bait to just i mean bear it not you don't want that sink like a rock but if you're getting a tiny fall action pop it up let it fall pop you're mimicking those dying shad and those bass are looking out for hey can i can i do something real quick yes so, so someone had a knife I, protecting their lucky tackle box yeah, oh, here, no, in wait, texas, wait, wait. here in texas we do things a little bit differently I got my lucky tackle box right here. Is it upside down? Yes. Oh, it's backwards now. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm really nervous about what's. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> You're not getting anywhere near my lucky tackle box, okay? I hope that's a registered fire on there, Tyler, man. You are making me very nervous right now. I'm glad that we live in different states. Um, holy cow. Oh, Texas, yeah. People love to be armed. Do they love that right, dude? I, I like that, T-Money. Yep, stay, yep. stay away from Tyler's box. <laughs> You're not taking my bait. <laughs> All right, guys. Mustad, weedless hook. Guys, this is a real simple hook. This is a basic one that you're going to be able to use all the time. 
Um, uh, pretty simple concept. That little weed guard, you want it sitting like that all the time. It's not getting in the way of the fish um, getting hooked up. What's happening is you slowly bring that through any kind of grass or anything like that. It's not going to catch up in the grass. But when you get bit, the only thing different when you're fishing a weedless hook like that is you got to set that hook hard. Um, you got to get that that hook to pop through the uh, the weed guard and get and penetrate in the fish's mouth. So uh, what you do is just thread that hook. You can you can actually do it um, when you have that hook. You can actually do it just through wacky style where you're just that that hook's just hanging off um, the worm and that and as that worm sinks, it's just kind of lagging its way down. Or you can thread the hook into the worm and, and let it fall that way. But uh, there's a lot of different uh, possibilities you can use with that worm or with that hook. And it's a great, uh, it's a great go-to little hook. Definitely something you're going to use a lot. And uh, for you guys that fish a lot, a lot of grass or, or wood or anything you're going to snag up on, this is going to be a hook that's definitely going to bail you out. Now. Right. I'm seeing giveaway stuff. Now. Uh oh, are we already a giveaway? Oh, we're I almost know. there. We're almost there. No, they're jumping the gun now. They're trying to give us a heads up. All right, guys. We are always trying to further information. We're trying to pass on information. Lucky Tackle Box has really created a giant platform uh, for people to learn, and that has been well received by the customers, by you guys, our LTB fam but also by the manufacturers. They love that we have a teaching platform, and so that's why our boxes keep getting better and better. They keep getting newer products. It's been a, it's been a huge success all the way around. And in that um, you know, ever-expanding um, uh, platform of information, we're always trying to partner up with, uh, with new people. And, that, and one of the, the great YouTube partnerships we just uh, have uh, spawned is with Tactical Bassin. And Tactical Bassin has been around for, uh, we'll get into that a little bit more, I think five, maybe seven years. And they're all about information. And these guys really give specifics. They're very dialed in. Our videos really focus around the basics. These guys really, they'll give you the basics, but they're going to give you the, the nitty gritty as well. And so from Tactical Bassin, we have right now Tim Little all the way up at Clear Lake, California. Um, What's I, that? And I think the lake, I think the lake's right behind him too. Tim lives right near the lake. I'm not going to tell you his address, but he lives uh, right on the water. I mean, this guy gets to, he gets to fish whenever he wants on one of the best bass fishers in the entire country. Tim, what's up, man? What's up, guys? Tyler, what's up, man? Hey. So, Tim, walk us through what Tactical Bassin's all about, man. Give us a little bit, like, where'd you guys get started? Yeah, so Tactical Bassin, um, you know, we create content for for beginners, for experienced bass fishermen. We're one of the oldest YouTube channels. I think we've been around for about seven years or so. And, uh, you know, we're, we're not new. I think between Matt and myself, we got uh, 70 plus double digits. We got uh, seven world records. So it's time for us just to share our knowledge with all of you. And that's what Tactical is about. It's about giving back to the fishing community that's done so much for us over the years. And uh, through our YouTube videos or our Facebook, Instagram, uh, we're always putting up new create, you know, new content for you guys just to, just to give back. You know, it's so cool to uh, meet people out on the lake or in stores and stuff and hear their success stories. So that's, that's really what Tactical is all about. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that's, and you guys, uh, what's really cool is like he like he brushed over to brush over this really quickly between us we have 70 uh bass over 10 pounds and and world records and all this stuff now um, you rarely are around more passionate people about the sport these guys have they don't tournament fish they basically have gotten away from that because they realize that they get more satisfaction out of sharing information and and trying to help people. And, and I've heard Matt say this as, as a lot as well, because he's a guy out, out on Clear Lake, and he he's caught the 10-pounders. Now where he really gets uh, feels great is when he can get somebody else on their PB. Like that becomes now his passion is, is, is because he wants to share that experience. And so these guys, you know, not only is Matt Guy, but then him and Tim, put together uh, this great YouTube channel where they're sharing their information and trying to bring uh, more people to uh, to a level where they can have more success. And, and that's what's really cool. A lot of people, when they when they hit the level that Tim and uh, Matt have, they don't share the information as much. They become more secretive. And and I think that's great. I think you guys are really needing that. 
Yeah, and that's one of the reasons that it got started was back in the day, there wasn't anywhere to get good, honest information to help save people, you know, the trial and error and money. And uh, like I said, uh, like you said about Matt, you know, now it's we're setting goals to help other people achieve, you know, double digits and PBs and stuff like that. And it is, you know, we came from the tournament situation and uh, I'm a very competitive person, but it is more fulfilling to, to help people instead of compete against them, but to help them and to, you know, save, you know, what people have to understand here in California fishing, it's uh, you're right. It's, you know, we're not, it's something that can be taken away at any time. And, uh, the more people that we get out and enjoying the outdoors and catching fish and being in the fishing community, the better for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. it's been so much fun with social media. It really has expanded the sport and there's been people on one side that say, you know, you're giving away all these things and, and, and you're giving away all kinds of information and stuff. And they get the, the, that old school mentality where you want to have the secret spots and uh in today's day and age there's no such thing as secrets man it's it's going to come out you might as well be the person that's sharing that and get that gratification instead of just being upset that people are learning the secrets so absolutely and all right so we are actually going to move into a giveaway before we get a mutiny uh, once we get around giveaway time people start blowing up on uh, the comment section about giveaway giveaway because we do a we give away a bunch of stuff so and uh, I'm going to get in trouble on these giveaways tonight, too, because I'm actually going to do some giveaways that are uh, bigger than we were originally going to do. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Yes, yes. We're being generous. Generous, generous. Okay. Let's go for our giveaway, too. T-Money, do you want to answer the uh, do you ask the question? Yes, um, question. Okay, no, hold on. Actually, so check this out. We were supposed to give on this one. We're going to give away three dial reels. I'm about to get in a lot of trouble right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be – the office going to be pissed. So we're going to give away three dial reels and that's going to be to the golden ticket winners. <clears throat> but let's give away to the correct answers. The first correct answer. Let's give all three of them dial reels. Let's go. Let's go to go. We're going to three more dial reels. So the first two right answers to this question and the third one's going to be a random one, another dial reel. Okay. Wow. And I hope that we have that many at the office or I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm going to be buying diamond reels at Bass Pro Shops or at Tackle Warehouse. I'm going to be using the promo code tomorrow, ordering some diamond reels. All right, guys. Um, so we're looking for the two first right answers and then one random. T-Money? All right. Ask away. In 2015, Paul Bailey cut a world record size spotted bass, but it was not verified for several reasons. How big was that spotted bass that could have been a world record if he had followed all the steps correctly? Ready to go. Actually, this is kind of funny. Tyler's the one that came up with these questions tonight, which is, uh, <clears throat> which this little situation everybody on right now is a interesting, is an interesting question. The one guy who's not on here, and we're asking, that's that's the question we're asking. So um, we're going to wait for some right answers right now. We got all kinds of comments. Tim, Cody, we have right now, we have uh, – a little over a thousand people watching right now. So uh, the world is tuning into your guys' living rooms here. We already had, we've had some good excitement. We already had Tyler uh, bring a uh, bazooka gun. Is that what that was? I don't even know. What, I don't know anything about guns, but that looked like no, a it was, it was an AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the clip wasn't in there, so I'm glad you're practicing safety there, okay? Yes. <laughs> Let's see if we got any. All right, guys, so we are waiting. Oh, they're filling in right now. So golden tickets. Everyone get your golden ticket out right now. I'm going to announce the numbers that are going to also win dial reels. So here we go. Everyone got their tickets up. First winner, 01960. 01960. So 1,960. Um, second winner, 24025. 24,025. Third winner, 19,770, 19,770. And uh, guys, if, you, uh, if you're if you not sure who won, you want to check on this later, I'm going to make sure tomorrow we post all these when we re-upload this video. In the description box, it'll say everyone who won as well, so you can be verified. So the winners and the correct answers are going to be J-Dub Fishing, Rodney Scott, and Eric Miner. So uh, all three of you guys just won Daiwa Reels. So everyone that just won, there should be six winners. 
Email Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com. Send them your email address, your mailing address, and then you guys who have the golden ticket winners, make sure you take the picture of the golden ticket so we know that you actually have the right number. T-Money, you got any more guns? How many more guns you got back there, dude? Uh, I, it's best to remain uh, disclosed on that. Yeah, good call, man. Good call. All right, dude. That's, uh, you guys always have like a bunker, dude. I, th is that what all houses in Texas come with? Is that a little just bunker, man, when uh, – when you're ready to start, uh, when, when the zombie apocalypse comes, you guys are ready to start just blasting? Yeah, dude, fly down. We will keep you safe. <laughs> All right, so shoot, we lost. We just lost Tim. I don't know if he's going to come back on. I still had some more questions for him because uh, the next person coming on is actually, uh, I, I love this. I love how this situation came about. So if he comes <laughs> back on, we're going to talk about Tim. Um and actually, let, let me, uh, I'll, I'll hype them up a little bit more. So, you guys, first of all, check out Zach Labass. And um, there's, there's a few major channels where if you want to really learn, they are built around education. Informative Fisherman with Nick Smith. He's a partner. Got it. He's one on the checklist. Tactical Bassin, absolutely one on the checklist. And then, obviously, Lucky Tackle Box. Hit the subscribe button right now down below, <laughs> Lucky Tackle Box. Um, and so you can get all the videos. We make videos for every single thing we do. And if you guys want to get hyped up on – Tim Little right now and Matt Allen, and there. So Matt Allen's the uh, the other one that does that. Okay, let me skip that one. That one came up too early here. <laughs> so great pictures. There's Matt Allen with just a giant bag of smallmouth. What other pics do we got? <coughs> Look, dude, Tyler, is that money or what, dude? What? Are you seeing that? I'm not seeing nothing. Anything? Oh. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. There it is. Look at the size of that bag, dude. These guys, these guys catch giant, giant fish. And the coolest thing is they share their information. Um, and so Tim and Matt are guys you actually root for. They really are like their success is something that like you feel good that, that good people, you know, have good things happen to them. And then someone we're going to meet in a second. You're like, that's the devil. That, that guy's the, the, the enemy guy. No, I'm just kidding. So it's always good to see good people have success. And I'm going to, I'm going to introduce you guys to another person that has uh that's, that's the person you want to succeed. But here's a picture of Tim Little. Tim Little is holding up the world, the current world record spotted bass. And I'm bummed that he got kicked off. He's not on, uh, he's not on right now to, to tell us all the details of it, but he has the current world record bass spotted bass. He caught it last year at Bullard's Bar up in the uh, up in the mountains of uh, California, Northern California. However, yesterday, literally, or not yesterday, I'm, I think three days ago. I think three days ago. Yeah, I'm getting a nod. Three days ago, um, <clears throat> Cody Meyer broke the spotted bass world record. He's in town. He fishes the FLW tour. Very successful. Has uh, has had a great career heading back east and, and doing very well. Comes home uh, for the holidays to you know do the little Christmas thing. Jumps over to the uh, Bullard's Bar and smokes the world biggest spotted bass. Um, Cody, what is up, everybody? This is Cody Meyer, Tournament Pro FLW Tour. Cody, what's up, brother? Not much. How are you guys doing? Very good, man. Very good. Oh, dude, nice plug. We're giving away Dyra Reels, and you show up with a Dyra Reel sweatshirt. Oh, hey, yeah. If you do so not good. Have reels in stock, don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Dang, you got ahead of me, dude. All right, all right, all right. So, Cody, walk us through, man. I mean, you've got to be on cloud nine right now. You went up there to catch some big fish. You didn't go up there to catch the world record. No, you, you you know you just you never know at that place. But how the day went is I went up there with my good friend J.R. Wright, and uh, you know we went up there to try to catch a, a six seven pound spotted bass, which anywhere in the country is an absolute giant. So we started off, uh, I caught a six six, six first in the morning, and then uh, about five months later, I caught a uh, eight point three five. So you know, ten minutes into the day, my day is gone. I have the photos. I literally leave happy and we kept catching and right after that moved around a couple different spots uh my buddy caught a big one and then the big bit i was throwing it right from the go and what goes on at Florida bar these fish should spin eating them yeah there's poking cody cody you're clicking you're clicking yeah, we, right now you're clicking we got that audio 
Tyler, are you getting the same thing? Yeah, I'm getting bad audio. Cody, if, if maybe is there any way you can move over maybe the garage or something? We talked earlier, it came through a little bit better. Yeah, let me go. Let me go uh, over here real quick, guys. Is, that's I, I feel like Cody's sitting there talking to us right now. He's like, and the secret to catching a world. <laughs> and that's my bait that I use. And but the crucial thing is to set it up. The way you have to set it up is. And dude, I'm sitting there going, "Oh God, I'm never getting the secrets. <laughs> We're not." <laughs> so, all right, Cody's gonna get now. Can you hear me now? I think so. Yeah, it sounds a little all more right. crisp. Let's, let's let's give it a try. Hey, people in the comments, we are fixing the audio. Don't don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I just went outside. I have AT and T. I apologize, guys. Uh, service up here is bad. Anyway, so I'll start from the top. You know, so I I live here in Auburn, California. Grew up fishing for spotted bass. Funny story, my mom, when I was 15 years old, used to drive me to the boat ramp and drop me off. Pick me up at dark. So I'd fish all day, no cell phones. You know, nowadays, uh, you would go to prison for that, for child abandonment. <laughs> and uh, so this day, last Friday, started off just amazing. We, we show up, uh, you know, of course, Bullard's Bar. I'm with a buddy. I'm going to catch a few big fish, one or two at the most is, is all you can hope for. And uh, if I caught a big one, it was going to be an awesome photo shoot. So we start off, I go to one of my favorite spots. Right off the bat, I caught a 6.66 spotted bass. So you guys, I fish all around the world. And a 6.66 spotted bass in most lakes is easily the lake record. And uh, that was awesome. And then five minutes later, I caught an 8.35. So as far as I was concerned, my day was done. It was, it was awesome. I had what I needed. Uh, you know, of course, we're there. It's first thing in the morning. So we ran around. We pull up to another area. And uh, my buddy catches a 7.47. J.R. Wright was his name. It was his biggest spot of his life. We were high-fiving and hugging. And right after that, the mayhem happened. Uh, I was throwing a Strike King Ocho, a little five-inch stick bait, and uh, these fish just spend a ton. They're, they're not really on the bottom a whole lot. They're always spending, and uh, the deal was, yep, there it is, there it is. The deal is, uh, you know, they don't go to the bottom much. So I marked these fish on the Garmin Pan Optics, and they were out uh, over 100 feet of water, and they were down about 20 feet. I turn around, I throw out there, I'm throwing six-pound that's right, six pound Seaguar Tatsu fluorocarbon line. And I'll never forget this. I, I remember feeling the bite and then setting the hook and it took off for about five feet. It was like crazy. It's a, a, you know, like a, a bat out of hell. And then it stopped. Now you gotta remember, it's over a hundred feet of water. So there's nothing to snag you on. But it literally felt for about two seconds like it was snagged, it didn't move. I'm pulling it, it's, it's sitting there, it's not moving. And then all of a sudden it turns around slowly swims by the boat. This is a really long cast. It swam by the boat out into deep water. I, I I don't know how far it went, but it went pretty far past the boat and then she finally realized it was she was hooked and took off, man. It was a rodeo. Uh, at one point I remember seeing it about forty to fifty feet below the boat, you know, in deep water and I fought it and fought it and fought it and fought it and fought it for about five hours. You know, literally probably five minutes ago. And it finally came up, we netted it. Again, we high-fived and hugged. I said, how big is that thing? Oh my God, how big is that? It just caught an eight pounder and it looked like it was twice the size. And JR says, I don't know, but dude, that's like a 12 or 13 pounder, which <laughs> it looked that big. But um, the, the cool thing is we weighed it, okay? And it weighed 10.78. So I literally called Tim Little. You know, Tim and I went to high school together. He's an awesome dude. Uh, Travis, you mentioned it. Him and Matt Allen are as good as they get. They want you to catch fish. This is how cool it was. Tim goes, Cody, you need to certify this bass. And uh, I said, okay, how do I do that? He goes, well, it's my day off. I'll come up there. I'll help you certify. And I don't know the rules about you can't you can't weigh this thing on, on uh, a dock or a boat. you got to weigh it on land. Wow. You can't transport the fish. And so Tim literally leaves his house at Clear Lake, comes up here. And uh, three hours each way out of his day helps me certify this bass. As I'm talking to him on the phone, he's telling me what he's going to do. I throw back out there, striking Ocho, and guess what? Get a bite, set the hook, and I go, Tim, I got another giant on. I got to give you the phone to JR. And uh, I caught it 8.27. 8. So 
What? And it was unbelievable. We had 4155. And what is cool about this, guys, is Tim, like you say, is the current world record holder. Now, Paul Bailey caught that giant one, but to get it certified is a whole different thing. And without Tim's help, there's no way I would have done. Uh, it's, it's potentially going to be a line class world record as well. And the whole thing was was amazing. All these years, I'm 33 years old, all these years of fishing for spotted bass in Northern California. That day, last Friday, was unbelievable. And get this. So two years ago, the same exact day, I was up there with my buddy Jason Johnson, and we caught 4276 on the home rank. So that day, for some reason, is magical. Now, you could, after I caught that last one, but you never got another bite. And I could go up there tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and you know how it is. You just can't always uh, get bit up there. It's pretty tough. So it was really, really cool and special day. Cody, what day was that again? Uh, that was March 3rd. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Tyler, dude, we got to figure that out. Tyler, you and I are hanging out. Um, what is this? December, three days ago in December, dude. Cody's throwing us off, dude. Sounds good. <laughs> And uh, sixteen. It's nice, nice. All right, all right. And uh, all right, so Cody, we're gonna do a giveaway, but then I want to go over uh, the bait you were using. You mentioned a couple times, but I'd like to know what Tyler and I are gonna be using, what uh, the exact setup when we head up there, uh, and the pan optics we have to buy before we get up there, because uh, <laughs> T Money and I are breaking the record next year. That's that's a promise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seventeen. That's the uh, Tyler and Trav Bullard's Bar Road Trip. Tyler, let's uh, let's do a giveaway now, man. We got. Dude, I'm I'm not taking a road trip with you in that crappy trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, dude, are the millennials, dude. They just they just aren't ready to. Dude. Hey, Cody, we fish tour and stuff. You've fished tournaments for a long time. How many terrible places have you slept? How many times have you slept in your truck, the back of the truck, your boat? Dude, you listen to this story. So. I remember staying in Arizona, okay? it's There's like 10 guys in one room. It's Lake uh, Roosevelt, there's nowhere to stay. And I was sleeping on my bed. The Roach Motel is like this place to a T. I felt something in the middle of the night crawling on my arm, move my arm. I get stung by a scorpion in my arm, okay? So I throw it up in the air. Uh, I, I look for it, I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it's for me at this time. And then I get back in bed and the sucker stings me on the leg and then call up my buddy. My buddy on the, the other side of the room, he got stung. So Travis, that, uh, that, that driving house you have there, dude, I would take that in a heartbeat. 90% of the places. Nice. Tyler, see, there you go, man. You don't okay. know what it's like out there, dude. I have, I have, it's not a four seasons. I'd say it's a three seasons that I have at least, man. It's, it's luxury living, dude. So there's nothing like having a house on wheels. And I, I think that you younger guys, you don't appreciate the struggle, man. The true struggle being out there. That's probably true. Yeah. All right. Let's do, let's do a giveaway here. We're on giveaway three. Yes. Your box. Oh, guys. Oh, so we're going to have to give away six of these. You guys, I'm running out of tackle. <laughs> so, all right, guys, this is my favorite. Um, this is by far my favorite. Um, anyway, let's get down to – oh, man, we're getting all over the place. But uh, anyway, guys, the Travis Box. We're doing the, the Travis Box giveaway. This is literally where I go through my boat, my office. I go through uh, everything I can. Let me, let me mute. The party time. Party time is on here. There we go. They mute? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, there we go. I got to mute. Um, all right. Uh, mute. AJ, mute yourself. Yeah, AJ, go okay. ahead and mute your, uh, your feed. All right, guys. Uh, the Travis box, I go through my boat. I go through. Anyone who's won one of these prizes, uh, they'll vouch for this. I literally, I'll just go cut lures off all my rods. I'll go through. I'll grab stuff that's just sitting in the bottom. How I clean my boat is I just grab all the lures that are all hanging all over the place and just throw them in the boxes. And I'll throw a drop, a bag of drop shot uh, baits like the Ocho's or anything like that. And I'll then cut the uh, the setup, little drop shot setup using off my line just so they can see how it was set up, throw it in the box. So this is one that's special to me because this one actually isn't just me throwing product in a box. It's throwing stuff that really comes from me and stuff. And, and I keep having to fill more and more boxes and you're getting – I fill the box until I can't close it anymore. So this is a fun one. This one is the one I actually have to go and actually put in some work to actually make happen. And uh, so we're going to give away six of those right now. All righty. You ready for the question? All right, guys. So we're doing the same thing. First two right answers, third random one. 
Yep. Go ahead, T-Money. All righty. A world record largemouth bass weighing in at 25.01 pounds was last caught in 2006, but it wasn't counted because it was foul hooked. What was the name of that infamous California bass? This was a great story, too. I like this. I like this one. This was a good question you came up with, T-Money. Thank Let's you. Let's give him a second. Um, Tyler, why don't you call out the three numbers, too? Uh, so, you guys, everyone have golden tickets. We're going to announce three uh, Travis Box golden ticket winners. So get your golden ticket out. And let's see what you got. You ready for the numbers? We are. All right, everybody. Get your golden tickets out. The numbers are 11,961. So 11961. 4,631. 4631. So 15,891. 415891. There they are. All right, guys. Well, we're waiting for the winners to uh, be announced here. Let's see some thumbs up. If you're enjoying the show, we're coming towards the end here. We're talking to world record holders, current, uh, I think about to be, and then we've got uh, another guy that might be a world record holder on uh, uh, chugging. I don't know what he, he might be, but he's coming out. we got some fun stuff. If you're having a good time, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, hit the subscribe button on the page right now. Uh, if you want us to keep doing this, this, these shows are built for our LTV family. If you like this, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments, uh, be interactive, because that's what we're doing. This is our chance to connect with our subscribers and everything. So let's announce some winners real quick. Um, the three winners, uh, the right answer is uh, Tyler. What's the, what's the right answer? The right answer is Dottie, because it had a dot right on its gill plate. And <clears throat> poor Dottie, uh, she's no longer swimming around. Uh, she finally yeah. died. It was a great story. That that is a bass fishing, uh, amazing little tail and stuff, and uh, and it was one that they chased after for a long time. So, the three winners, uh, the C A fisherman, so the Cal fisherman, Adam Hatton, and Real Crazy. All three of you guys are going to win Travis boxes, and then the uh, golden ticket winners that uh, Tyler announced. All of you guys, email Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com. Uh, if you guys had a golden ticket winner, make sure that you uh, take a picture of your golden ticket, send it to him, and send your mailing address so he can forward that to me, and I can send you Travis boxes. Yep. All right. Now, let's get back to the Ocho. Ocho. So why don't you tell us right now, where's the picture of it? Cody, you caught the world record spotted bass. What did you catch it on? I caught it on an Ocho. You're looking at it right now, the Strike King Ocho. Here she is. This is my gold ticket here, Travis, right here. Nice. So That's this is going <laughs> to count for something, right? Do I, do I win a Travis box for that or what? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm stealing stuff out of your boat for the Travis box. If you want to steal your, if you want to get your stuff back, I, I guess uh, you win. <laughs> All right, all right. No, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a stick bait. Here it is. It's a five-inch bait. Uh, it, the color is, is really important. I shouldn't even say what the color is, but it's KVD Magic. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if it looks like a kokanee or what the deal is, but they love this bait. We actually <clears throat> fished up there last year with some striking guys, crushed them. Uh, same bait, same color. The deal is I'm throwing it weightless. You know, there, there's no weight in there. It's just weightless. And those big fish are suspending over deep water. So that's what, you know, I love about this ocean. What is so cool is if you look on the bait, there's little flat sides all the way around it. And there's a ton of soft plastic stick baits out there that those little flat sides, when it's falling, you'll actually catch more water, displace more water, and it will have a better shimmy to it. And, uh, you know, again, it's got a bunch of salt in there. Just something really cool. Hey, this guy who named this bait and made this bait, that KVD, he knows a few things about that. So uh, <laughs> I, I put my trust in him. and. You know, like I said, this has quickly become one of my favorite baits over the last couple of years. So it sounds like some guys, some lucky tackle box guys are going to be getting them here too soon. So yeah, it's, no, uh, it's a deal. Cody, literally all our subscribers that got boxes this month got the Ocho in their box. So I couldn't have written a better story. Like, you know, you have lures, you're, you're so excited when people catch good fish with it and stuff. They all are sitting at home. You just got the world record spotted bass. <laughs> and they're like, I have to look, what? Like, 
Well, it's, 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 it's as easy as it gets. And that this is the, the complete circle of, of what this box is supposed to be. And uh, it couldn't have worked out any better. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that, that is so cool. You mentioned that. And uh, you said, man, hey, I just want to tell you this before this. It's already been sent out or wherever it's at. And uh, how cool is that? And like I said, this this thing is just a, it's a money bait. Obviously, it catches the giant spots, but it catches big largemouth. Again, it's just one of my favorites. You know, there's no wrong color. There's four to three different sizes, uh, the four, five, and six inch. You know, pick your poison, catch, you know, potential world record fish. I mean, yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> And all right, so let's uh, by wrapping this up, let's guys. Saw Tim jump back on here. Tim, yeah. What's up? Uh, you know what, dude? I, like, it keeps coming up. Like, you you're just a stand up guy. And it's a guy you like. You we found out you you caught the world record bass, and it's like that's awesome. Like, you, it's not a jealousy factor. So, like, there's sometimes you're like, ah, oh, that guy shouldn't. Like, I loved hearing that you caught it. It was a good feeling. And same thing with Cody. I, I gave him a hard time earlier because he's an easy guy to give a hard time. But uh, here's your bass. Tim, I mean, this, you're going to go back up there and you're going to go try to catch another world record. I mean, obviously, you're going to be back up. You're, Cody's, Cody's not going to just get to sit tight with this. And it's going to – it builds a rivalry and everything. It's fun. It's all fun. But you had to have enjoy. You have a world record forever. Forever you get to say you set a world record bass. Yeah, absolutely. You know, anything that, that draws this much attention to fishing is a win-win for all of us. You know, like I said before, I am competitive, but uh, it just raises that bar a bar a little bit higher. Higher, you know, we've all set that goal at a 12 pound spot. So, uh, you know, one of us, hopefully, one of us will do it. Cody or I or Matt or, you know, one of us. But uh, be able to have a fishery like this in our backyard is truly amazing, and it's a great time to be a bass fisherman for sure. Nice, nice. Now let's show. Let me put up some shots of Cody here. Where is the pig steering? Look at that thing. Are you kidding me? Look at that fatty. Cody, how much did you beat Tim by? I mean, it was just, what was Tim? Tim, what was yours? Mine was 10.6, and uh, Cody's is close to 11. It was 10.80 on a cer on my certified scale. Oh. Um, so hopefully it could be certified for some kind of record. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's a, that fish is very fat. And it's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh man, I mean that's that's Lambert. That's Lambert uh, in the off season, right? I mean that's uh, <laughs> he's drinking okay, beers. Lambert, let's have some girlfriends like that before, okay? Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason, I'm sorry, not here to stick out here. We're just slamming on Jason. He's an easy target. So yeah, well, we know he's asleep right now because he's two hours ahead, so we can't. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Uh, all right. Well, you guys, Tim, Cody, thank you guys so much for coming on. Um, it's, it's, we'll see next one. of You guys that breaks it. We're going to have you guys on the show and, uh, and you guys can talk, uh, talk about how you did it again. So. Awesome. Thanks, thanks for having us. And uh, I got 18 too. So I guess I got to go switch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank all you guys. Right. Have a good night. See you guys. See you. Thanks guys. All right, so we've got uh, we've got a guy that's been a silent uh, a silent guy sitting in the corner right now in thumbnails. We're going to get to him in just a second, but we're going to finish up the products. Uh, we're going to run through the rest of the products real quick because um, I have some. There's still some cool stuff. I really we had some fun products this month. Um, this is probably the best feedback we've ever had from uh, from a box. I mean, we and and it's it's great. That just means the progression of what we're doing is really working out and stuff. And so. Uh, so let's go to, let me show you guys the Spool Tech Fatty real fast. Here is a picture of it. Um, interesting looking little bait. You know, it, it doesn't, um, it, oh, actually, you know what? Let's do, let's do another giveaway. I didn't realize too oh, many. Boy. You heard Cody talk about records and stuff? I'm like, oh gosh, you know, like, oh, I'm so, yes, there's, there's something funny. I actually know every single person that's broke a record at Bullard's Bar. Wow. I am, I've, I've done videos with them. I know, so I know Matt, I know Cody, I know uh, uh, Paul Bailey. So I, I feel like there's some kind of connection. Like maybe it's me, maybe I'm the guy. And, and, and so it's going to be my turn eventually. Uh, quick story. Years ago, I was pre-fishing for a quick, uh, for a television show that we were going to do. Went up to Bullard's Bar, uh, made a couple casts and caught a five. Put it in the boat, a couple more casts, catch it, just a monster. 
So I called my brother who slept in that day. I'm like, Parker, you got to get up here. We're, you got to take some pictures of me, uh, of me real quick. And then I want to let these bass go. And take the I pulled these fish out of the uh, live one. And he goes, dude, he's like, that was huge. And that was the first one. That was the five pounder. Take a yeah. picture of that one. And I'm like, dude, wait till you see this one. This one's pretty big. So we take it out. It is, he's freaking out. We take pictures of it. And this is like, this is five, six years ago. And we take pictures of it. And, uh, and we look for a scale. I don't have a scale. I didn't even know spotted bass records. I didn't know that I, I, I caught it pretty easily. I, I didn't think I was anywhere near a record. I knew it was the best, the biggest spotted bass I've ever caught. So we yep. both go, you know, what would you give? My brother will never give me an ounce. He will never give me anything more. Like he's always downplaying. He goes, I will give you 10 pounds. I'll give you, I, I can honestly say, he's like, I'll give you 10 pounds. Wow. Take the pictures, load it up on Facebook and stuff, throw the fish back. He swims off, all's good. For the rest of the year, I was my phone was blowing up nonstop. Everyone was saying it was world record. Gary Dobbins calling me over and over going, why did you not weigh that fish? <laughs> like it was so so it was fun and 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 it probably wasn't a world record, but I got to have like I got to people like I got to feel like eh, maybe it was. So that's true. Ever in doubt, guys, don't weigh it. Just just throw stories out there. Oh yeah. Official, official only uh, can win or lose. It's it's too uh, it's too stern on uh, either win or lose on that. So yes. let's do the giveaway. But right now we're not going to give away the kayak yet because I'm going to give the kayak after the wheel of fun. Cool. You guys are about to find out what that is in just a second. So let's do let's do five. So okay, so we're going to do um, right now. We're oh, this is a great giveaway too, actually. Let's do, uh, we're going to give away LTB apparel pack. Guys, we're finally, we got swag and the store is coming up. I don't know if they, I don't know if they open it today or it's going to open tomorrow, but we finally got swag for sale. You can represent, you can, uh, you know, we have so many great people that post pictures, that speak highly of LTB, that spread the word. And we want, and they always ask, how can we buy shirts? How can we buy hats? We want to represent Lucky Tackle Box. Finally, we got some cool stuff in. So right now we're giving away um, three winners of a shirt, a sweatshirt, and a buff. So all LTB gear you get to represent. T money. Ask the question. All right, everybody. Here is the question: Patrick Sabile holds the world record for lar longest largemouth bass ever caught. How long was this bass, and what lake was it caught on? I feel like I have the longest bass. See, that's a, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, all right, Tyler, why don't you announce the uh, the winners too on the uh, number on the golden tickets? Also going to win a swag bag, swag bag, swag. I see a bunch of comments. Good job, guys. Remember, it's length and the lake. All right, so the golden ticket winners for this swag bag as well are everybody. Get your tickets out. Twenty three thousand two hundred and thirty five, two three. 235 3289 3289 and 748 748 did you win AJ probably not you don't look too happy <laughs> that all those numbers were too high for AJ to count dude he's, he's worried about that stuff so all right guys um while we're waiting uh, on those answers, uh, we're gonna do one more giveaway because uh, the show went a little longer. So I gotta do, I gotta give away more stuff, man. It, that's that's the rules. If we go over uh, the hour, then we're gonna give away a little bit more stuff. We're gonna give away a kayak, and then we're gonna give away nine. So there's gonna be one kayak winner, and then nine uh, winners. They're gonna win lucky tackle boxes. So Ooh. we're yes, yeah, so there's there's gonna be some good stuff. We're gonna give away some uh, some good stuff there, and. I want that kayak, dude. I, I need a kayak. I've been uh, living right next to the ocean. Do I have the ocean? The ocean is literally, I would say, a few hundred yards down this hill. I live on this like steep hill. I watch whales swim out there nonstop, and all I wish is I had a kayak to swim out to these things and, and be amongst the whales. So you're gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna launch one of these videos pretty soon. T money that's uh, it's gonna have me swimming with whales. All right, I'm done. Liquid let's, talk, let's talk. Uh, let's see. I think they're putting up some winners right now. Let's talk. Uh, let's talk these last products real quick, though. Spool Tech, guys. Spool Tech Fatty. This is some great technology right now. And this is I love. 
I love innovative stuff, dude. I love when, when companies are thinking outside the box and, and coming up with solutions to common little problems of fishing. You guys, so this little bait, you'll realize you can pull that hook all the way out and then you can wind it back in with the head so that hook comes out. Why do they do that? Why? Why would you need to pull that out? Here's why. When you're throwing swim baits, that fish gets hooked. When it's trying to shake free, the heavier that bait is, the more the skin will tear on that fish. And then eventually that hook, as it's bouncing around, that bait's bouncing around, it will pull the hook. When So this technology, when that fish bites and it gets hooked by that hook and it takes off, the line, that line comes out. And so now that bait is moved away from that hook. So when that fish comes up and starts trying to throw that hook, um, it's not going to be able to because it doesn't have any weight. So that hook just stays right with it. Now, a lot of people go, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The bigger the fish, the more it matters. The mm-hmm. more that fish is able to shake free a bait like that. And it, it, when you talk to guys that are that are big bait fishermen, they talk you, when you set that hook, you wind that fish as fast as you possibly can. Because the more that fish shakes on the water, the more chance it will throw it. And it throws it a lot has come up with the solution. So it's a really cool bait. You guys can go out and throw anywhere you're going to throw a swim bait. You can throw this bait and have a lot of fun. Let's move down. We've got the last bait. This one was cool too. This is the one you I, and actually tell you throw deep diving crankbaits. This was the uh, Jenko CD 20. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you talk about throwing deep diving crankbaits? You are a deep, like you are, you have no problem going deep. Oh no. See, when, when the bass, especially in the winter, in the summer, in Texas, we have more of a summer than a winter, uh, they will go in my area somewhere between, you know, 18 and 35 feet deep. And so to get to those active fish feeding on ledges, brush piles, rock piles, all sorts of things, you have to throw a very deep diving crankbait on a even eight foot rod with like 12 pound floor carbon. You have to get a bait super deep to imitate what those bass are feeding on. And I've been banging off the rocks, right? That's, that's crucial. Oh yeah. Now, unless the fish are suspended above, but in the summary, the catchable ones are most likely the ones that are sucked down to the bottom. Yep. Yep. And actually something that was taught to me a long time ago, guys, I'm going to throw this out there and it may not even, uh, you may not completely understand it. So you actually go out and try is, um, you know, when fishing a crankbait, you want a, a crankbait that load or a crankbait rod that loads up because Throwing a deep diving crankbait is all about throwing that bait a long ways away because it takes a long time. As you're reeling, that bait's coming towards you and diving at the same time. So you want that bait on the bottom as long as possible. So when you make those casts, you want a, a rod that really loads up so it has a good bend in it, but you have to hesitate. And this was some, this took me a long time before somebody finally was like, no, no, Travis, you got to hesitate where you've got to, you got to let the, the rod load up is what they, how they describe it. So when you go back, you actually have to count almost like one 1,000. And what happens is that that bait is kind of heavy. It pulls that rod back and loads up, and then you can sling it. These these baits are made with weights in them. Those weights hit the bottom of that bait and then fling that thing forward, and you can cast it a mile. Um, and that's where you're going to have more success. Or what they do back east a lot of times, too, is they long line it. They let that – they toss the cast out, and they pull the boat away from that that uh, crankbait, you know, a couple, you know, 100 yards, 200 yards away, and then they start reeling that bait, and they start their cast that way. That's another way to make sure that bait gets down to the bottom and uh, it because it's all about that crankbait. It, 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 as it hits rocks and it's digging into the bottom, it's, it's crawling around down there and, and scurrying along, and that's what triggers strikes. Exactly. So, guys, we've had somebody who's who's probably the person we wanted to put on hold the least because this guy's ready to go. He brings a, a ball of energy. And, uh, and oh, look at this. You know what's awesome is this muted party right now. Like, there is no volume on this. All right, guys, unmute it. AJ Gore, he is – this is this is how people watch LTV Live right here. This is how you do it right here. <laughs> What's up, guys? Lucky Tackle Box Live. We are doing the drug Lucky Tackle Box here at the Gore Compound out in the middle of nowhere in Arizona. How are you guys doing tonight? Fantastic. Fantastic. Nice. I'm so glad that you guys could have me on here doing the drunk Lucky Tackle Box. And I tell you what, it's a lot of hard work. 
doing these live unboxings. Oh. 12 ounce curls. Oh. 12, 12, 12 ounce curls. 12 ounce curls. All right, all right, AJ, hold on one. All right, so look, we got some excitement. Hold on one second. I'm going to announce some winners right now from our giveaway, and then we're coming back to AJ. We're going to find out how you're going to watch his drunk unboxings, and we're going to just spin the wheel. Show us the wheel of fun real quick. Show show us. We got to see it real fast. We got the Lucky Tackle Box Wheel of Fun right here. This thing has got many different names. Tonight, it's the Wheel of Fun, unless you're on the receiving end. If you're on the receiving end, it may not be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming right back to you. We're going to find out who that creepy guy is in the hoodie right there that keeps popping in the screen, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's announce some winners here. T Money, we've got. We've got. Okay, so you guys, the right answer was. I know that was next door. No, <laughs> what was the right answer? AJ, go ahead and put us on. Put us on mute, AJ. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is a party. This is how people watch LTV Live. Do you know this is how everyone watches it? <laughs> Tyler. What? Talk to me. So who was the winner? Or uh, what was the answer? What was the right answer? Oh, the right answer was, one second, let me pull it up real quick. 24 inches from Lake Okeechobee. He actually caught it on the Sabeel uh, double plop, what's it, whatever the plopper buzz bait thing they have is. Dude, that's fantastic. All right, all right, all right. So the winners, you guys, um, so the winners with the right answer were um, Blazing Extreme, 614 Outdoors, and Caden Carr Fishing. The, uh, and and uh, Tyler already announced the uh, winning golden ticket numbers. If any of you guys won, make sure you email Justin at LuckyTackleBox.com. Send them your mailing address. And for you golden ticket winners, make sure you send a picture of that winning golden ticket number so we can make sure that we verify that. All right. All right, guys. We're going to do one quick uh, spin with AJ right now. And, guys, Got to tell you about AJ. We love, we appreciate all cultures of the uh, the LTB unboxing. And, and AJ caught our attention. Uh, AJ uh, AJ Gore on YouTube, and he does these boxings where he has some booze. And by no means do we um, do we promote uh, underage drinking or drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. However, um, AJ is fun. We love fun around fishing and stuff. And that's why we that's why we promote when people are having a good time with us. We want to make sure we we support people having a good time. And so AJ, you've done and AJ's YouTube yeah. channel is not all about he does creative things. AJ all he does is try to be creative and entertaining. And that's why he has had some success with his YouTube channel. So AJ, we're doing one spin with the wheel spin. of fun. Now, you guys, All right. before you spin, hold up, AJ, don't spin yet. Um, Not yet. Not yet. If you want to check out his YouTube uh, channel, it's AJ Gore on YouTube, and you can check out his unboxings. So he goes through every one of the products. He talks about it. He gives you good information and stuff, but then he also uh, has a little fun on the side while he's doing it. AJ, spin it. All right, guys. Yeah, definitely go to my YouTube channel. I'm the guy in the boat, not the guy dancing. All right. So on this thing, we've got quite a few different uh, options here, and it's pretty crazy. So let's see what we get. All right. Let's take a look. The wheel is going on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, tag a friend and spin again. So this is a good option because now it's not just me. One of these suckers. Who's who's going? Oh, I get the tag a friend. Okay. I got the big man, Ricky Farley, right here. Woo, the other Ricky Ricky! So, all right, we're going to spin one more time and see what we land. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Tijuana hookers. So basically, what that is, it's a shot of tequila and a shot of pickle juice. I'm glad. Go ahead. Fridge, this. I'll, I'll do two of them. I'm glad. I get a little scared when I just heard that. When I just heard that, one, I was a little scared what we were about to see on uh, on live YouTube right now. So, I've got to do. I've got to throw a disclaimer. While they load this up, I got to throw a disclaimer, guys. We do not promote underage drinking whatsoever. But what you are responsible adult, which I know AJ is, he has designated drivers. He has. There is no underage drinking there. You can have fun with AJ. Yes. All right, so 
Uh. All right, guys. Okay, so we got the tequila. We got pickle juice. Guys, definitely. Hey, let's see some likes going on right now. Guys, check out LuckyTackleBox.com. Subscribe. Get involved. Get the box. You can't go wrong. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, AJ Gore. I'm the guy in the boat, like I said, not the guy dancing. And also, like I said, anytime I'm reviewing these baits, I'm drinking, I'm having a good time, and I never know what's in the box. I do not open them till the moment that I'm recording. So here we go. Ricky, let's do right, this. Two, one. Go. Three, two, one, nail them. All right, guys. Thank hey, thanks for coming along, guys. AJ Gore. We'll, we'll see you guys later. Keep the party going. All right, guys. It's a little more action I thought I was going to get into right there. They are they're obviously having a good time. Um, and uh, not trying to promote drinking in any way, shape, or form. Um, and I want to make sure you guys, you guys understand that. Um, we got to fill in on a party that they're having a collaboration. You guys can have parties in any way. Um, next month, we will be featuring... Uh, some other people having a gathering, and we don't know who it's going to be. So make sure you email me if you guys want us to uh, feature you guys. If you want to have a group collaboration, um, let me know. Send me an email at Travis at LuckyTackleBox.com, and uh, we'll feature your guys' gathering for the LTB Live. However, we've done that party, so I want to see something very different. So if you guys have a different way of gathering stuff, let me see it. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, we've, we've seen the drinking. We've seen the, them having a good time. Now I'd like to see... Maybe some guys uh, with all their boxes. I don't know. Let's let's see something uh, a little bit different. Maybe you guys on the water next month. Um, everyone's invited to Team Money's house next month. We're going to be doing a, a, a boxing. Watch out. He has a gun. Don't just show up uninvited, dude, okay? Oh. This, this guy has a giant, uh, this guy has a giant uh, a bazooka gun that he's ready. So don't show up on his uh, front lawn. All right, guys. Let's talk about. Tyler, let's talk about the, uh, before we do the final giveaway, kayak um, and nine LTB boxes, um, let's talk about the, uh, the LTB house. Yes, yeah, so a few weeks ago, all of us got together and hung out at Clear Lake in California at this dope house. Uh, I know I've already made my videos on my channel. Jake's put out his. I think Tall Fisherman Jay put out theirs. And Travis is a little bit behind on the uh, LTB ones. But... <laughs> We basically just hung out for two days, or like really three days, and uh, attempted to catch some giant fish at Clear Lake, throwing swim baits, throwing rattle traps, all sorts of different things. And uh, we had we had a good time. We stayed up and and talked fishing with Matt and Tim. They just poured out their knowledge onto us one night. It was a hot tub. We went hot tubbing, and it was just fun. It was it was a good fun time for all of us to uh, hang out and make videos. Yep, and and the whole idea of LT or uh, of doing these collabs is is for the love of the sport. It's really awesome that, that Lucky Tackle Box and, and has been able to bring on sponsors and stuff to actually um, to bring influencers together. You know, everyone has this passion for fishing, and there's no there's no uh, re-energizing feeling like being around other people that spend their time doing this. Tyler's out there filming the uh, you know the time lapses, the uh, the stars, you know the night lapses, all that stuff. And then Jake's running around being just Jake. Jake is just that that energetic ball. And it's it's so much fun interacting with these different people. And then hearing Matt and Tim come in, who are like kind of some OG guys. Same with Nick and Formative Fisherman. These guys have been doing it a long time. They come in and hang out. It's it's really it's really everybody getting to collaborate with each other and create great content. And that's that's what's fun. And we're gonna keep doing these things. So make sure you guys are all uh keeping an eye out for these uh for these fun um collaborations and these fun uh, gatherings and and it's not just going to be we're going to be releasing some great content uh, content from clear lake but you've got if you guys want to go go to tyler's real fishing.com or doc sorry tyler's real fishing on youtube you're going to see some of the videos he's put out mm -hmm. jake d almighty put out some great footage uh tall fisherman jay and yeah nick the informative fisherman did a show about it uh matt and uh you know matt allen tim little they, uh, they were involved in everything. And then also even Paul Bailey jumped in on the tail end of that. Got you a 10-pound bass. Which actually, Tyler, let's that, – that reminded me of something we talked about earlier. Okay, I remember okay. we were going to mention that. Okay, so you guys, Tyler and Tim are fishing on Clear Lake. 
they're throwing a certain cast. They're fishing a prime spot. A lot of people know about this, but a lot of people don't know how to fish it completely right. And a lot of people don't have the complete confidence. Tim makes sure they roll up there. He's got Tyler dialed in with the right bait. Everything is good. Everything. I mean, they are, there's no better person to be fishing with that takes you to that spot. And there's no better bait. Like everything was rigged up. Tyler, walk me through what happened, dude. Yeah. So you can check out my video to see how it unfolded on my video, but I cast a big Huddleston out there, eight inch. I'm slowly crawling to back and I feel a bite right where it should be. And I set the hook and I lay into it, just a giant fish. And then my drag slips and I'm like, Oh no, what just happened? And Tim's like, I, I rigged up that rod last night and didn't tighten up the drag again. And so I'm like, I can't blame him because I should have checked the drag, but he should have tightened the drag before he gave it to some swim bait newbie. So uh, I ended up losing that fish. And who knows if it was the same fish, but three days later, Jake or D Almighty made the exact same cast with the exact same bait and caught a 10.4 pounder. So you, <laughs> you guys can judge for yourselves whether or not uh, – the, the, the fun was had on me. I wanted to catch that 10.4 pounder. Let's be honest, Tyler. Was the one that bit your line bigger or smaller than that? I think the one on my line might have been bigger. Boom, yeah. I think so, too, T Money. We got to get back to Clear Lake. Uh, we're gonna, there's going to be another trip going uh, down there. Also to Bullards. Uh, right? I mean, we, we definitely got to – we got to hit up some lakes up in Northern California. Oh yeah, you're, you're ready to come out at the drop of a hat. I know you're always foaming at the bit to get out here, fish these California lakes, try to throw some record numbers up. And uh, yep, yep. And uh, you know what? I don't have a hard time. I, I'll, I'll take that. I believe that yours was bigger. I, I can see that. Well, Jake, okay. may have something I'll say. We might have to have Jake on the show to clarify what his opinion is. Maybe you guys have a little talk next uh, next month, but we're gonna have to get down to that. Oh yeah. All right, guys. We're now we're now into uh, late late past the hour here. It's time to give away a, a miniature little uh, boat here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Giveaway. Final giveaway. We're gonna give away a kayak, and uh, actually, you're gonna get to pick the color of the kayak. So, what, when you, whoever is the winner of this uh, this box, um, also, we're gonna ask you what color you want. So you can have. We're gonna give you some stickers, LTB stickers to put on as well. But you get to pick the color of this thing as uh, as well. So the first winner, this one unfortunately is not a, uh, there's going to be no question going with this. This is LTB sticker, or this is LTB tickets only, the golden tickets. Yep. Which means you are a subscriber to Lucky Tackle Box, you guys. We appreciate your support of this company. We appreciate uh, when you guys are posting, telling us your success stories. There's nothing better than when I post a video and in the comments section it says, I caught my personal best on this lure. Thank you for your video. It showed me where a starting point. Fantastic. So you guys um, really enjoy the support and let's announce a kayak winner right now. The first, the winner that's going to win a kayak. Look at you. Everyone's got their golden tickets out. I'm feeling a little suspense. I'm a little pumped. Tyler's pumped. Wait, let's get it. Tyler, dude, there's nothing better than giving away something that you know is going to help somebody out, right? Like, no this, is like this is somebody that's getting the box. It's, that's that's having a good time, but now they're going to get a kayak. They're going to be able to get on the water. They're going to be able to search. They're going to be able to have a good time. So, mm -hmm. and, and I remember my first ratchety, crappy boat. I've I've found styrofoam on the shore before that I've pushed out and literally so I can get on the other side of toolies. And I'm standing on styrofoam trying to flip in toolies and stuff. So I slowly go with the wind around these things. Yep, and, yep. So, and and my story is not original. Everyone has tried all measures. So let's get you on the water with a kayak. Number. Three, six, eight, six. Woo. Okay. Woo. Three, six, eight, six. So there's probably a zero before that. Zero, three, six, eight, six. 3,686. You want a kayak. And Tyler, should I throw some other stuff in with that kayak? I think, I think, you, uh, should. Whoever, I think you should. Whoever just won that, I'm going to send you. I got behind me. I got a, I'm going to send you also a rod and reel. Castaway, or, I mean, sorry, no, let's go. Castaway rod and a Daiwa reel. Uh, right off the rack behind me here. Uh, oh, I don't think you guys can see it on the green screen. I got a couple of our rods and reels in the corner. The only stuff I didn't bring back from Clear Lake, uh, or the, the only stuff I didn't take to Clear Lake, so that's the only stuff I still actually have here at the office. So, because yep. I want to make sure that, so they already get a box, right? So they already have tackle. They now have a little uh, a boat to go out and fish. 
and now they have a rod and reel. So there's no way they're not going to go out and have a good time. So oh yeah, throwing in from from my rack, you're getting a used rod and reel. Sorry, it's not brand new, but it's been uh, tried and tested. Okay, so now let's announce nine more winners of boxes. Okay, Somebody, you see, do you want to announce those winners, Steve? Let's you got go the real young, quick. You got the energetic young uh, young Texas voice here. Here we go. Oh yeah, all right, everybody, get your tickets out. It's going to be real quick. 15,381. So 15381. 22,844. 14,261. 5,560. 7,225. 6,000. 244, 23,941, 11,892, and last but not least, the last person to get an LTB is 20,902. 20902. Yep. Guys, we gave away some cool stuff. We're not going to see you guys until next year, right? And that's, uh, we'll see everyone that next is true. year. Um, Team Money, but you got videos that are going to be pumping out quickly, right? Oh, yeah. You guys, make sure you're checking out my channel. It's Tyler's Real Fishing. I make some of the dopest edits you'll see. I know people say John B. makes dope edits, and he does. But I've been making them for just as long, and I'm, in my experience, they're pretty cool. Um, and I have a blast out there on the water. I make sure to teach you guys some good stuff, and uh, I just have fun. So make sure you guys check out my channel. And I'll be here on LTV Live a whole lot more. And, uh, and Tyler, you've got, uh, we're coming in, I mean, so obviously winter, we're going to get through winter, but springtime comes around, you're going to be doing the underwater stuff. Tell us, you got any good ideas? Are we going to see some good stuff coming from you this, this spring? So I did a, a crawfish video where I put a crawfish underwater and saw how bass, you know, if they ate it or not. Almost to a million views, and I have some more ideas for that kind of stuff, so stay tuned. We're getting another level. We're getting the next level, 2017? Oh, yeah. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, Team Money? Tyler Anderson, Tyler's Real Fishing. Guys, check them out. You guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the LCB family. Make sure you guys send me an email if you guys are going to do some collabs. Maybe we'll get a bunch of live feeds on um, next month. And uh, we want to see in your living room. We want to see you watching with your family, maybe your kids. Maybe I uh, would like to see maybe a little bit more uh, the family-oriented side of, uh, of LTV Live so everyone doesn't think that's what everyone's doing. So anyway, email me, Travis, at LuckyTackleBox.com. And uh, we will see you guys on the 20th, January 20th, same place, same YouTube channel. Take care.